Friends Suitcase Junket here at Back Bar at the Green River Festival. Yeah, yeah. So I sit on, on a suitcase, play it with my right heel as a bass drum, right toes playing a hi hat, see so a little boom check there. Right toes also playing this sort of box of bones and silverware, which works like a hi hat. Like the bones and the silverware drop into the little like old wooden cheese box, and it makes this great little like crunching sound. Left toe is hitting a baby shoe, hitting a gas can, sort of like a snare sound. Left heel is hitting a cook pot. Those are like homemade sort of can drums that are mounted on old chair parts. Cook pot's got a nice little pop to it. And then left heel also hits a circular saw blade, the ding. And then I play a guitar that I pulled out of a dumpster at Hampshire College where I went to school. Because, you know, like, hippie Christmas in the spring semester, it's like everyone throws away great stuff. And then I've got a couple old amps the guitar goes through, write songs and sing them with my face. Okay, let's see, where, what the hell just happened? <laughs> where am I? What am I doing? Also, what's my name? I got back at four in the morning from Let's do it! What was the first venue you played? That one's kind of easy. That was like, uh, I took piano lessons as a kid. So it was whatever they had those. It was probably like a church or something. What's your favorite car song? Ooh! Definitely something I can shout along to is, is required. There's some Tune Yard songs that I'll like really lose my mind about. Some Tom Petty, some Bruce Springsteen, Aretha. Taking a dip. What's the weirdest gig you played? Oh man, make a list. The one that sticks out is a retirement party for a guy from the Navy. Whoa. I played a wedding one time where they were like, we want you to play the violin for the processional. I was like, great. I meet up at the place we're supposed to process from, and it winds up being like a mile and a half walk through the woods. It took like 20 minutes. And so I'm playing my song, not knowing how long this walk is, and I play it, and, I, and we're in the woods, and I play it again, and we're still in the woods. And eventually, I just start playing the Jurassic Park theme song, but it really added some majesty to the processional. Until we got to the beginning of the aisle, and then I was like, now here's the two-minute song I learned. <laughs> so what was the first album that inspired me? I remember getting obsessed with the song Mississippi Queen by the group Mountain to the point where my record player broke. It was just the speakers that broke. You could still spin it and jam your ear right next to the needle and hear it. That like cowbell in the beginning and the way that that guitar came in was just like so heavy. I feel like that influence is still there. I got a, a sap spile tattoo on my arm. I got that with, with my dad and my cousins. It's like a sort of family tradition. We do it in the driveway. We got like 30 buckets. I take off two months every year from touring so that I can go sit in the driveway and make sure that sap is boiling. <laughs> you could put syrup on like a mud pie pancake and it would be okay. I mean, I keep it in the van and I just sip on it. I do. It brings some sort of deep joy to me. And I put it in my seltzer sometimes. <laughs> Thanks guys. Yeah. <laughs> cool.